Hello everybody, and for the third time in one sitting, we are recording this video. It is another unit review on the Chaos uh, Chaos Rhino, the classic transport of Warhammer 40k that has been around since its inception. Though it is interesting to think that this may be the last edition where the Loyalists and the Traders can field them. But that's sort of an existential uh, conversation for another day. Let's get into it, of course, starting with its stats, as we always do. The Rhino comes in at a very cheap 75 points. It is a dedicated transport. It has uh, movement 12, toughness 9, 3 plus save, 10 wounds, leadership 6, and OC 2. Its movement of 12 is quite fast. Its toughness 9 is very resilient to most small arms. And its uh, 3 plus save is alright, but will crumple to anti-tank weapons very fast. It has a beat V amount of wounds out of 10, especially for that points cost. Leadership 6 plus, and OC 2. It, its OC2 is okay for contesting objectives, but that's not the main event. It can, of course, transport 12 Heretic Astartes Infantry. Let's get into its uh, weaponry and such forth. In terms of ranged weapons, it comes standard with a Combi Bolter, which is Rapid Fire 2, 24-inch range, 2 attacks, ballistic skill 3+, plus, strength 4, AP 0, and damage 1. The standard anti-infantry weapon, you can take an additional Combi Bolter, or you can take a Combi Weapon which is Rapid Fire 1, Devastating Wounds, Anti-Infantry 4+, plus, 24 inch range, 1 attack, it's less accurate, it hits on 4s, it's AP 0 and damage 1, not really worth taking in any situation, especially since there's no volume of fire, which is this thing's main, uh, main use. It can of course take a Havoc Launcher, which is Blast, 48 inch range, D6 attacks, Ballistic Skill 3+, plus, Strength 5, AP 0, and damage 1. A very solid anti-light infantry profile, which plays well into the Combi Bolter as well, with two Combi Bolters and a Havoc Launcher at close range, this thing will be quite adept at clearing out light infantry, things like Guardsmen, or other annoying screens like Gretchen. In terms of melee weapons, it's a very unimpressive Armored tracks that is a melee weapon with three attacks, hits on fours, strength six, AP zero, damage one. It's very bad, but it still could crush a uh, infantry model or two, so long as they are very lightly armored. Its ability is Auto Repair Systems, which is restore one lost wound to this model at the start of the command phase. Very useful to keep it alive in the long terms of the game. So what should we load into it? There's the two obvious ones, that would be Legionaries and Chosen, which both have pluses and negatives. The Chosen hit harder, but are more expensive. The Legionaries still hit hard, but not quite as such, and are also slightly uh, less expensive, though they might tangle with heavies a little better than the Chosen do. It has 12 transport slots, as I mentioned, which means you can bring up to two characters along with them, which would, of course, usually be a Lord and maybe a uh, Master of Executions if you're feeling spendy. In most detachments, I'd say either are good, though in the Deceptor's detachment, which is the main detachment that I use, I would mainly recommend using Chosen, as Legionaries already gain Infiltrate, and I doubt you're going to want to bring more than three massive units of Legionaries. And even if you are, I don't think it'd be worth buying a Rhino for them, as you'd already have very strong midboard mid control, and you'd want to use the Rhino more so to deliver damage. Though, if you do want to play into the Infiltrator's Loyal Deceptors, you could load this thing up with uh, Felgor Beastmen, who are truly awful in everything except they have scouts. So you could confer scouts to up to three transports, which could be a Rhino in this case, which could be useful to simply flood the midboard with a bunch of stuff. And the Rhino's fast moving and it has OC, which means it's very useful for objectives. It could swing around the sides of the enemy army to do any of the new action objectives, or it could simply be there as a nuisance, and with its small armaments, it's still good at killing light infantry, but that's very matchup dependent, and also reliant on your infiltrators not getting screened out, which is not a guarantee. So really, this is more so a gimmick and an all-or-nothing kind of strat, where it could lead to you winning a game extremely quickly, or it could lead to you losing very fast as well. I wouldn't bring this to a tournament or anything, though if you did want to do it, there's probably a better unit to use in the Land Raider, as that thing has more damage and more durability in general, but that's sort of going way too deep into this gimmick strat. Regardless, I'd say that both Chosen and Legionaries have their value, and they both really appreciate the uh, toughness of this thing because it is most resilient to things that would kill Space Marines very well. You know, it's, it's Toughness 9, which means it's very uh, resilient to things like Plasma Guns. It, they wound them very inefficiently, even though if they can wound, they do a lot of damage. Against the Marines inside, the Plasma Guns would, of course, butcher them. Regardless, I've been Spoons Rattling. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.